Everyone say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Okay. Today, we're going to talk about Smash Bros. But specifically, some discussions about a certain man named Kazuya. Kazuya. Check out this quote from a tweak. Kazuya is disgusting. The game would be a lot better without Kazuya. But the competitor in me doesn't want him to be banned. It doesn't feel like completely justified. But at the same time, like the game would be so much better. So it's so hard to say. It's more so not about like banning or not banning Kazuya. It's more so that he has already ruined the game. Their addition and the lack of like care put into like their design and you know, and just leaving it ha as it is, is why we're in this spot. Like there's no like, there's no good option. Game's already screwed. Like, all right, listen here. It just is what it is. Listen here. Like in private, all the conversations I have with top players, do y'all want to know the amount that said no to banning Steve and Kazuya both? Zero. They all said yes before the conversation was even really starting. In private. So I'll I'll repeat it once more. This is the discussion of the topic, the hot topic of the day. Like, in private, all the conversations I have with top players, do y'all want to know the amount that said no to banning Steve and Kazuya, both? Zero. So, according to Tweak, and I have the thread pulled up here, top players apparently all want him banned. Of course, uh, I'm sure it doesn't include Riddles or Kazuya players. Same way that most Steve players probably didn't want Steve banned makes sense. You have to understand, when it comes to things like this, when it comes to top players and, and how they decide what rules are best, there's two things to keep in mind. One, the integrity of the game they love. Do they, at a moral moral core, think that this is better for their favorite game, a game that they have passion about, their favorite hobby, to have more fun with it? And two, does it get in the way of their income? If you think that both of those don't play a role in decision making, uh, you're very wrong. Obviously, especially if you're trying to make a living off this, whether you're, you're a competitor, especially if you're a competitor, if you're a content creator, not so much a, a band could or couldn't affect you depending on what you do. But if you're a competitor, for sure, it will affect you. Now, uh, you got to remember, you know, there there are comparisons to Melee in this, right? Sometimes the idea is that do you need to put specific rules in the game or in competitive play? instead of banning the character itself, right? Do you, to make the game more balanced, do you do you set a limit on a move that Kazuya can do, or do you just ban the character outright, you know? I feel like with Steve, like, there might be, there might be a world where we just make a new rule. There might be a new rule where we, a new world where we create a rule to deal with Steve and uh, with Kazuya. Personally, on the topic of Kazuya, I don't think it should be banned. Like at all, I don't think I don't. I still don't think he's proven to be like the the threat to the meta that Steve was. Honest to God, and I and I, and I never will. I I really never will. I just I've played Smash Bros for far too long. Even melee with Fox, I hate playing Fox. But I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm never gonna say ban Fox. I want to go to Pal, sure. And why is that? Is it for my moral integrity or because I want to win more? Obviously, both go into play here, right? So. It's like I said, un until there's a Kazuya's, an only Kazuya's winning shit, then it is what it is. You know what I mean? The mark of the best character in the game is that if the best player for that character is active and good, they're going to win almost everything. Almost all tournaments that they attend, if they're that broken. And lo and behold, what do we have in Japan? We have Aqua running the show right now, right? Not only that. Came to the States and <laughs> he destroyed a lot of people. So people got close, right? He did he, he 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 did a loser's run, right? It is it is it is possible to you know for top players to do it, but you know, when you you saw how methodically he picked apart a lot of the NA players, like to me it 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 sort of spoke like this is just the start of things to come. I always stick by what I say. I I still think Steve is not conductive to the meta. I think he is such a good character issue is aqua is fucking amazing at smash bros like have you seen aqua secondaries do yourself a favor go, go on youtube look up look up aqua secondaries in fact for the sake of of the juan tent because we're here making a video right now uh if you remember correctly aqua did go he, he went kazuya 
versus uh, Cosmos, I believe, right? Uh, materials. Game one went I do, like, I do like, even though uh, you, know you may not see as much from this Pyra, I do like the idea that he was looking to use this Pyra, because I do feel that there's certain sequences, especially once you pressure Steve, where you need to be willing to show him that you will throw out that fair ah. if they try to go for, like, controller right now. Oh, what the Kazuya Oh, wait, wrong. Oh, yeah, he oh is that yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's wild. Okay. He sent Rachel to go get one. What? <laughs> Oh, 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 so Kazi and Mishima, it comes out, like, you thought you, you thought you were going to get a free counter pick, not at all. He is getting so many of these, like, buffering these grabs. He was expected to do this to a Steve. Yeah. It's just wild that he probably saw this happen and then did it anyway. Yeah. Okay, man, get first, still get the grab though. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> My back! She's so he's so quick with it. It's like I see the see ya. Oh! Yep, drop. Uh -oh. Yeah. We're getting up and doing it again. Is nonsense. Oh no, okay. but it's so funny looking. Alright. Up nice. he out of shield. Wow. That, that just, not, okay. Saves the right drive sense. too. Just flew up on him. Jukes. Oh, he actually you just mixed the, the you, got mix, oh. you got mixed. 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 thing. I like the idea though. Oh. Took so much damage. Yes, yeah, 78 for that. Still he has actually rage just mixed him for that. That's crazy. Still He's gonna, has it, the it's, it's time, bro. Harry to grab. I'm calling it. Wait. Did, did I just see the. Oh, you yeah. have the up four? Yeah. Bro, no one ever uses that move. I know. <laughs> I love that. I love that move, bro. Disadvantage, but now it's even scarier when. Really, just any move could kill you. Yeah. yeah. But that is one of the biggest. <laughs> Including that one. Wow. Yeah. There we go. So obviously, Kid has a cause you. But his, his best character is going to be Steve by far. Uh, I think it is unfair to put um, to put Steve and Kazuya in the same bucket. I think if, if people end up actually banning Kazuya, that is what's going to start the slippery slope. If we had the same mentality towards ultimate characters that we didn't like in Melee, it would just be like, there'll be no question in the world that Fox would be permanently banned across the world. If we use the same arguments of like um, results and stuff, it would be there. But I think it's a new player to the scene will be very confused, right? If you show them just a list of results from both games in 2023, they'd be confused. I was like, okay, well, Steve wins a lot of stuff in Ultimate. Fox wins a lot of stuff in in Melee. But the Melee has been out so long that people have seen just how much counterplay there is to Fox. And if you want to be a perfect Fox player, it's f***ing hard. He's a healthy top tier. He is. He's fast paced, he's a glass cannon. If you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna get absolutely rocked. And if you destroy someone, it means that you're like really good at the game usually. Especially at the top level, you gotta be really, really fast. Steve doesn't have those qualities. And Kazuya has his advantage. So, for, anyways, point is, and, and to what Tweak was saying about this topic, top players behind the scenes saying they both want Steve and Kazuya banned, that, that shouldn't come to a surprise to anyone at all, you know? I mean, how many times have I said, like, F Steve, I oh, man, I hate this character, whatnot, out of me being salty. If you're a top player constantly losing to the same character, yeah, you're going to feel a certain way about it, you know what I mean? You're going you're gonna to want that character out of the way. But there has to be a balance. You have to put your own interests and the community's best interests at the same kind of level and understand what truly is best. And to me, watching this, I say keep Steve banned, keep cause illegal. That's where I stand on this. And I'm pretty sure that's just going to be my stance on it until this, until the end of time for, for this issue. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Do you think Kazuya should be banned? Do you think we're making a huge mountain out of this that isn't necessary? Do you think Steve should be banned still? Let me know. Speak your mind. Everyone say bye, YouTube. And sub to HBox. Thanks.